Hi all. In this video segment, we look into 8086 microprocessor and the register organization of this microprocessor. 8086 microprocessor was the first 16-bit microprocessor introduced by Intel. What do you mean by 16-bit microprocessor? A 16-bit microprocessor is capable of doing operations on 16-bit data. Before 16-bit microprocessors, there were 4-bit microprocessors and 8-bit microprocessors. Now let's look at some features of 8086 microprocessors. So this introduction of a 16-bit processor was as a result of increasing demand for more powerful and high-speed computational resources. So we know that before the 16-bit microprocessors were introduced, they had only the 8-bit processors and 4-bit processors, which were not that much computationally powerful. Okay, so the 8086 microprocessor had a very powerful instruction set. It had programming flexibility and it has a speed which is much, much better than the 4-bit and 8-bit microprocessors. So our 8086 microprocessor is a 16-bit microprocessor with more capabilities than the 4-bit and 8-bit microprocessors. Now let us look at the register organization of 8086. What do you mean by registers? Registers are temporary storage locations inside the CPU and they are used for holding data and addresses. Consider an example. We have to add two numbers. Add A, B. So the value of A should be stored inside a register. The value of B should be stored inside another register. So registers are just temporary storage locations inside the CPU that can hold data as well as addresses. Registers of 8086 are classified into two categories. That is general classification. So the two categories are general purpose registers and special purpose registers. Now let's see which all are the registers inside 8086 microprocessor. So these are the registers available in 8086 microprocessor. So here you can see general data registers, segment registers, the flag register and pointers and index registers. So this is the register organization of 8086 microprocessor. First, let us look at the general data registers. So here we have four registers, AX, BX, CX and DX. All these four registers are 16-bit registers. But you can see here, all these registers are divided as two parts, ALAH, BLBH, CLCH and DLDH. So AL is the lower 8 bits of AX register, AH is the higher 8 bits of AX register. Similarly, BL is the lower 8 bits of BX register, BH is the higher 8 bits of BX register. So similarly, we have CLCH and DLDH. So these four general data registers can be used as either 16-bit registers or 8-bit registers. So if you are doing 8-bit operations, we need only 8-bit registers. In such situations, we can use AL, AH, BL, BH, etc. In the general purpose data registers, we have a register called as AX register. AX register is also called as accumulator register. After most of the arithmetic operations, the output will be accumulated inside the AX register. That is why the register is called as accumulator register. Now let us summarize the points we have studied about the general data registers. 
The registers AX, BX, CX and DX are the general purpose 16-bit registers. The general purpose registers can be used as 8-bit registers or 16-bit registers. AX is called as accumulator. It can be used as a 16-bit accumulator or it can be used as 8-bit register. The lower 8-bit register is called as AL and higher 8 bits is called as AH. Similarly for all the other registers. So AL is the 8-bit accumulator for 8-bit operations. Now regarding BX, in BX also it is a 16-bit register. It has two parts BL and BH. BL is the lower 8 bits, BH is the higher 8 bits. So the register BX is used as offset storage for forming physical addresses in case of certain addressing modes. That will be discussed later. The next one is the CX register. Again you can use as 8 bit registers also. CL the lower 8 bit register. CH the higher 8 bit register. The, C, the CX register is used as a count register uh, when you are doing the loop uh, instructions or the string instructions. And next we have the DX register which can be used as a 16 bit register or as 8 bit registers DL and DH. It is a general purpose register and it can be used as an implicit operand or destination in the case of some instructions. 